Hello everyone, in this video we're going to have a quick look at a inventory module upgrade I made that allows for stat comparison between items. So let me run through this quickly. Um, so this is the usual uh, inventory uh, module demo scene by the way. Um, as you can see there, the plus sign is gone in front of the stats. Um, so I've removed that um, and there's a good reason for that because otherwise it gets conflicting um, you know with the comparison so if we equip this item now you'll see a zero so it has uh, zero points on top of what we have equipped because that's currently the attack value we have equipped if we have a look at the metal sword right now you'll see plus 35 so it, that's how much higher it is compared to what you currently have equipped so if we equip this this gets to zero and then this will get minus 35 because it's or well, quite a bit worse than we, we currently have equipped. So um, if we have a look at, for example, the metal shield has an attack value, but you will see nothing. Um, so there won't be a comparison because it's not for the same uh, hand. So it will actually have a look at what parent does the item have for the comparison. If the parent doesn't match, no comparison. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty simple. So. Um, you will see a package in the description um, you'll need to uh, install that so don't do it yet just download the package um, and then first off uh, you'll need to uh, remove um, some scripts so property UI there we go um, so you can go and remove uh, this one and this one the editor and uh, this one and then um, you will also um, need to remove the, the default prefab. Um, and the reason for that is I added something to the prefab. Um, so the prefab can now actually, uh, display um, the, new, uh, the new comparison as well. So um, just have a look at uh, this prefab. So um, item, no, UI, item property. There we go. So this is the one, remove that as well. Um, don't worry, you'll get a bunch of errors as normal. Um, and then import the package I've uh, attached for you. And then once you import that, um, you know, you can uh, remove the uh, remove the errors, they'll be gone. Um, and basically um, these, <coughs> um, these will replace the existing ones. So what's really different, so if we have a look in here, um, as you can see in this script, we basically have a, uh, a new value, um, which is the compare, number compare, um, which is an extra text. So, you know, modify this prefab how you want. So this is the default prefab. You can modify the look and feel, you know, to whatever you want it to be. Um, and then, yeah, what it basically uh, does, so it, it properly has a look at um, the parents. So that's obviously one of the most important things. Um, do the parents match? So let me, uh, let me go out of maximized here, go back to focused. So um, if we have a look at the items we're uh, equipping, so you didn't see anything with the shield, for example, um, because the shield is using the left hand as a parent. Um, we did see it with the swords and that's because they both have the right hand as a parent. So if they don't match, it just won't be visible. If they match, it'll, uh, it'll be visible. So yeah, quite, uh, quite simple. Um, you know, and again, if you don't like the look and feel of this in a row like that, you know, change it to whatever you want. Um, that's not really all that relevant. It's about the calculation being done basically. Um, so yeah, now you can actually compare the stats of your items with ease and they'll always be in the same class. Um, the reason I didn't do a script video for this, by the way, just in case you're going to ask, um, it's because that's not what I do. I don't do script videos. Um, so I just made it as a package for you. So, you know, even uh, even easier. So yeah, really quick and uh, quick and simple, um, and it allows you to upgrade the uh, the inventory module to be a bit more um, friendly for loot games um, when it comes to uh, when it comes to the inventory module. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.